Roll of Rose. No balls. Was developed by Punchline. And released for the PS2 in 2006. It was published by Great different companies in evolving. different countries. Uh, Atlas in the US, Sony in, in Japan, somewhere else in most of Europe. Punchline only made two games. My creation is evolving. Shut up! Oh, hi, Giant. <sighs> Thank you, T-Mac. They made Chulip, which is an expensive game, and Rule of Rose, which is the most expensive PS2 game. That's right. Gameplay and setting were inspired by the Brothers Grimm fairy tales and Silent Hill. Due to moral panic, the game's release was canceled in Britain, Australia, and New Zealand, but the panic was completely false and only based on rumors. It was bullshit. None of the content that it was banned, that it was canceled for, is actually in the video game. And this is currently the number one most expensive PS2 game at around eight hundred, eight hundred dollars. It's not m mine though. Uh, somebody let me borrow it. What's up, thieves? Here's some nice cover art for you. What does it say on the back? Let's see. A story too cruel, too beautiful to go untold. This text is really small and I can't really fucking read it right now. Set in 1930s England, the game follows the terrifying tale of a young girl, Jennifer, who wanders unknowingly into a bizarre world. Uh, not governed by rational adults, but by misguided children. Innocence can give rise to absurd rules and cruel behaviors as poor Jennifer soon discovers. The children's desire to pre preserve their secret society quickly leads them down the path to the unthinkable. How did Jennifer end up in this surreal world? Will the nightmare ever end? The unimaginable truth gradually comes to light as forgotten memories are violently awakened. Zoom the role of Jennifer. And with the help of her loyal dog, Brown, escaped the clutches of the aristocrats of the Red Crayon. This game, packed with shocking mysteries, waiting to be unraveled, will challenge your nerves and wits like never before. What's up, Space Robot Arm? Well, I'm just happy to play it. Happy I get to play it. <clears throat> he even got the manual in this motherfucker. Did by Haunting Ground. That's good. What is it with PS2 horror games and dogs? Girls with dogs. We also have the manual here. It's perfect time for me to be eating now. Now, it's, we're going to read the manual while I eat? What the fuck? This is the wrong game to play for dinner time. start playing the game while I eat this food. Once I'm done eating, we're going to go and we're going to read this manual, alright? I'm too fucking hungry for this shit, okay? It's avocado time. Definitely gonna have to increase the brightness on this one, probably quite a bit. Hello, Captain Peel Card. Go back to sleep.
This game is worth 800. How the fuck is Silent Hill won $300? There's like millions of those. You worth about 2,000 rubles. Two thousand pesos.
PS2 is retro, you guys. Those faces look just as good as Last of Us. My name is Joshua. I will serve you, princess. Just kiss me, please. Your mom is a pre-rendered FMV. Done eating. I love long opening cutscenes. Alright. Now. It's time to take a look at the manual. <clears throat> that was some delicious fucking food. That's why I ate it so fast. I need some violin music for this. Royalty free violin music. I don't even like violins, dude. To be honest with you. I don't. are too goddamn melodramatic for me. We have getting started, contents, preface, here we go. 1930s England. Jennifer wanders unknowingly in a, into an upside down world. A society not governed by rational adults but misguided children. Innocence can be the mind spring from which absurd rules and cruel behaviors are born, as poor Jennifer soon discovers. Having sworn to a pact by the Red Rose, the girl strayed deeper and deeper into the realm of the unthinkable. Welcome to our society. This is original hardware. They're playing it on PS2. While riding a bus down a moonlit county country road, Jennifer encounters a mysterious boy. He gets off the bus right before handing her a storybook. Jennifer gets off too. Cat, stop. But not knowing where she is, decides to follow the boy. Soon she finds herself standing before an old, lonely looking mansion. Ow! Parker? What was the boy trying to tell her? Why did he give her a storybook called The Little Princess? To discover the answer to these questions, Jennifer enters the abandoned building. Eventually, she finds a dog named Brown who turns out to be a loyal companion. But what she doesn't understand is the hostility directed toward her by the other children. Where am I? Am I... Jennifer, the timid girl, the main character of the game, an unlucky, helpless, and timid girl who's dragged into an alarming world. She's doomed to face unimaginable hardship with her companion, Brown. To find a way out of this nightmare, she's forced to obey the ridiculous rules of the aristocrats of the Red Crayon. There's a similarity between a retro gamer and an old married couple. Do tell. Brown, the loyal dog, Jennifer's loyal companion after being rescued by her in the airship, will obey her every command. This, this is like spoilers. Playing on original hardware. God damn. 
Aristocrats of the Red Crown is the name of the girls' make-believe society, bound by the rules they've created. Monthly tributes are demanded, and if the rules are defied, punishment will follow. Diana, the proud leader, leader of the aristocrats of the Red Crown, she's strong-willed, selfish, and most of all, proud. She absolutely hates grown-ups. Meg, the intellectual, she holds the second spot in the pegging order, intelligent but inflexible. She considered her, considers herself faultless carries her notebook with her everywhere. She's invented numerous devices for the airship. Eleanor, the quiet one. She is ranked number three in the aristocrats of the Red Crayon. Nobody knows what's on her mind because she's so distant and cold. She carries a birdcage in anticip anticipation of finding a bird that will bring her happiness. <clears throat> Wendy, the kind-hearted girl. Though not very healthy, she is a kind and admirable girl who takes care of the rabbits. She's the only one who's friendly to Jennifer. Pleb, the follower. Until Jennifer showed up, she was the lowest ranked one in this children's society. She's so happy not to be at the bottom anymore that she works really hard to fulfill her monthly tribute and maintain her new rank. Her daily chores include sewing rags with a sewing machine that has no thread. A mysterious man. He often checks on Jennifer and the other children, but his intentions are unknown. The children simply think of him as the man who gives them treats. Enemy character. Jennifer will meet various kinds of enemies. It is not always wise to fight them. Sometimes it's better to just run away. It's a survival whore. I know how to run away. The horrible imp. This is the imp the children balk up, talk about in secret, and it's the first enemy Jennifer encounters. Watch out, because it will cling to her and not let go. It appears in every chapter. The goat imp. It lurches towards Jennifer in a peculiar way. The fish imp. It hops around, and if attacked or touched, it will flounder around violently. Stage introduction. These are the locations making up the mysterious world Jennifer is stranded in. The Orphanage. The story begins at this mansion where Jennifer winds up when she follows the boy she met on the bus. Ghost Airship. Jennifer is brought to the airship which drifts high in the sky. She experiences many weird things there. <clears throat> Player Action. Walk Run. X to Inspect. Operate Talk. Ladders. Doors. Left analog stick to shake. When an enemy grabs hold of Jennifer, move the left analog stick quickly back and forth to free her. R1 attack stance. Got it. You can strafe while holding that. She cannot run. Okay. R1 plus X to attack. L1 reload. R L2 R2 change camera angle. Some places where you can't do it. You can put Brown to work. Once he becomes your companion, he'll obey the following orders. Triangle to go find. Circle to call Brown and return Jennifer right away. Square to stay. Triangle button threat. Press triangle to make brown bark at the nearest enemy. It will halt most, but not all enemies for a few seconds. Circle. Pet hug. You can pet the dog. Press the circle button when Jennifer is near brown to have her pet and hug him. This command can also be issued from the attack position. Items that will restore brown's health. Small bone, drumstick, bacon. There's other items as well. <clears throat> Let's see if anyone wants a game. I still need to give Hitman... Wait, was it Hitman? Who won the last one? Who wanted Basement? God damn it. Goth guy. Right? Why do y'all let me forget? Alright, if you want to win a free game, 
Here's the games I have on that list right there. If you want free game, type the dog's name, which is Brown. And you'll be in the raffle. Was the goth guy the one the last one? Oh no. I think so. I'm just gonna message him and say, you wanted basement, right? Grain, wrong. When Brown's order to find something, he'll track it down using his keen sense of smell. Select an item, open up the item menu by pressing start, place the cursor on an item you would like Brown to smell. If a list is displayed in the lower left hand corner of the screen, then Brown can track down one or more related items. Not all items can be used to find command. Begin the search. Back on the game screen, press triangle button to make Brown go find the item. If he doesn't go, then either there's no item for him to sniff or the target is too far away. Find the right spot. When Brown reaches the item, he'll bark on the spot. Keep in mind that some items won't be visible until he's tracked them down. Press X to pick up the item. Many interesting and surprising events await Jennifer. They can be triggered by talking to certain characters, arriving at particular locations, etc. Talk to characters repeatedly to receive new clues. There we go. Oh, thank you, Captain. <clears throat> Battle. Run, fight, or cooperate with Brown in order to survive. Do whatever it takes to persevere. Jennifer is a frail girl, not wise to get in a fight without a weapon. She'll move slower when she's been hurt, and physical strength will be reduced. If Brown takes too much damage, he won't be able to find items. Dessert fork, paring knife, steel pipe, revolver, October painting, save menu, that's a bucket knife, wow, you save with the bucket knife, we'll also give you hips, hints and tips, you can ask for clothes, Each new area will, cry, or will require a new map. Item menu, life meter, Brown's life meter. Use, equip, look, drop. Dropped storybooks and diaries can still be read by selecting files. So I don't have to carry storybooks or diaries. Rubbish bins are located in certain places. When standing next to, next to one, press the X button to open the stock menu. The items you've thrown away are stored in the rubbish bins. That's very good. So you can throw away things you actually need. You'll actually get them back later. No, it was after... That wasn't that one, Captain. It was... That was yesterday. This is today. I win and I'm asleep. All right, let's do the thing. Winner is Space Robot Arm. You win. Pick any game you want. <clears throat> Hi, Melon. We're reading the manual. You can add or remove items in the rubbish bin as well. Uh, 
Various kinds of items. Biscuit tin. You will get some biscuits by finding this. Biscuits restore health. One leaf key. The key to the one leaf door. Storybooks. These are said to be written by Stray Dog. You'll get one in each chapter. They're really strange because they seem to describe the events occurring around Jennifer. There will be times when you're unable to proceed in the game no matter what you do. Use these hints to help you. I just don't know what to do. Talk to the Bucket Knight or look at your storybook for clues. When you're lost, this hint should prove helpful. And the storybooks you acquire may also show you what needs to be done. I can't go any further. Are you sure you found all the items you need? Think about the situation, any unanswered mis mysteries. Make Brown track down any unfound items. <clears throat> Those items may lead you in a new direction. You did! <clears throat> There's a list of games. Let me know what you want. Can't open certain doors. You gotta open them with keys. Some doors can only be opened at certain times. That's fucking terrible. Throw away an item I need. It's in the rubbish bin. Can't defeat certain enemies. Just run away. Ground can't reach the target item. <clears throat> and that's it. Look at that memo page. That's so good. <clears throat> little cats, butterflies, flowers. What is that? Is that a grasshopper? Murray passed it to Hitman. Okay. Thanks, Captain. Before I forget again. You better be right. <laughs> Basement's off the list. All right. <clears throat> okay. It's time to play the actual fucking game now. There's actually another cutscene if we sit here for a minute. It's a different cutscene, I believe, than the first one we watched. So nobody move. I'm sure I could have figured that all out from playing the game, but you know. Oh my god. Always awakening. That one looked good, right? I think I got one of those. I, I think I have that as well.
Consent. This looks like the same cutscene. Hope you enjoy. You're welcome. Yeah, it's a, it's an artistic choice there, Melon. Do y'all remember the names? That's uh. Don't set me free. I don't know. She's the leader. As can be. I will do you harm. That's totally not Melanie. I'm a victim of your child. None of those are Amanda. I want to be dead when I am. I'm in bed. That's Eleanor, I think. There's Pleb. doing the October painting from the manual. What's in the box? <laughs> Poor moon. Now where's Fingal to tell me this game exploits children? <clears throat> no, we, just, we haven't started the game yet in November. Exactly, Rio. No <laughs> Thanks for the follow space. <clears throat> this is a survival horror similar to Silent Hill. Exactly, Melon. Yeah, it's late PS2. I don't think you want to be in this secret society, though. 
They only have red crayons. There's an airship for whatever reason. Looks like a whale. There's a whale. Is it? That's how you know this is Japan. Joshua? Old Lady Red Hat Society? No. Yeah, this stream is a secret society. Remind me next time I see you on your stream, Baffect. Because I forget everything. You ain't gonna remember either. You smoke too much damn weed. Noir filter. Imagine playing it like that. <laughs> We're gonna go down to about a three, I think. I don't think they know what the word contrast means, but okay. I'm so glad we have brightness. Nine, please. Thank you. Yes. Thank fuck. It's a horror game. It's going to be dark. We have a brightness setting. It's called contrast, but it works. Maximum Noir? No. <laughs> no. Fuck atmosphere. I can't see shit. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl. A friend. The princess of the red rose. He does, and oh boy, it's it's something. It is something. Then one day, her mummy and daddy died suddenly. And the poor little girl was sent Tell away more. to a strange house. No, you have to experience it for yourself. Jennifer, play with me, Jennifer. Read the story. Please, read the story. What happens next? What's this? No videos. What? Perfect, really. You don't save VODs. Wait. Please. Where are you going? He's fast. What kind of fucking bus driver leaves a little girl on the side of the road in the dark? 1930. The Little Princess. I did look to see if this game had 16 by 9 and it doesn't. Doesn't bother me, I just check I mean, if I'm doing full playthroughs of these games. I'll be playing them 16 by 9 if they have the option. Full screen. 
rather than this overlay. <coughs> Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl. Her friend, the Princess of the Red Rose, was always at her side. And one day, her mummy and daddy died suddenly. The princess, too, disappeared, leaving the girl all alone. Do you feel bad now for calling her a dumbass? And the poor little girl was sent away to a strange house. Can't call an orphan a dumbass. Suddenly, the girl was all alone. And so, the story begins. A mysterious, unthinkable, filthy tale. However, the young girl, Jennifer, had no choice but to surrender to the unsettling predicament. Oh, what an unlucky girl. Oh, I'm ready to box you. Oh, shit. She got moves. She got the jab going. She's ready for Tyson Fury. Yes, November. But the storybooks in this game tell the story of you in this game. Rose Garden Orphanage. Weathered bench that's near the bus stop. The area is dimly lit by the pale lamplight. You don't feel bad, damn. Hello, Gamari. <clears throat> I hear a lot of people calling Batman a dumbass. Really? Strange Hill. Not Silent Hill, Strange Hill. I'm so glad I could see the game. I don't think I found the brightness setting when I first played this. I only played it for an hour. Maybe because it was called Contrast. Or maybe I did. I don't remember. Yes, this is a survival horror. This is the most expensive game on the PlayStation 2. I'm just borrowing it from someone. I'm going to send it back. As the girl approached the sign, she heard a dog's bark. It sounded strangely familiar to her and beckoned her to come. Left Rose. Half of the sign is broken off. Rose Garden, it said. Okay. Yeah, he sent it to me in the mail. I'm going to send it back to him when I finish playing it. Doggo. A rusted well. Cool, cold air flows from inside it. There's an old padlock on the door. However, it's not locked. A rickety shed. The premise? Well... The manual gave us lots of spoilers. But I believe that uh, this girl Jennifer's mother and father died. She got put on a bus. And uh, she got off at the wrong stop following a little boy. And here we are. We just started. This is the extremely beginning of this game. Some of the paper is tied to the dog collar. Slip of paper with boarding pass and a picture of a fish on it. Red crayon aristocats. Crats. We found a boarding pass. The name Brown is on the dog collar. All right. Fish people.
No fish people. I can fight. Uh. Uh. Take that. Should beat up Moon real easy. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, there's a, a society, the red crayon aristocrats. It's a bunch of little orphan girls. They're creepy. There's an orphanage in a airship. Save successful. Nice. Ten minutes down. Many hours to go. Rocket. Was that the little boy I saw right there? Where are you going? Goddamn 3D controls. Fixed camera. Whew, I do not miss Doom Eternal. But you should play this game, bro. It's a scary game. Rose Garden Orphanage. Or just Rose Garden. Only eight hundred dollars. I mean, you know, there are ways you could play it without paying eight hundred dollars or borrowing it from a friend. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what those ways are. But I've heard rumors. I've heard tales. Following the boy up the road, she came upon a huge old mansion. Summoning circles. Oh. For some reason, this place seems familiar to the unlucky girl. <clears throat> I could play it off the hard drive. I'm playing it off the disc today. There were some audio. I had audio problems, but I don't. I think it was my cords, but I thought it was the game on the hard drive. The first time I played this. Hi, Sheep is Leap. Uh, yeah, this is the most expensive PS2 game. The final boss of Doom Eternal was pretty terrible. Looked cool. Was terrible. Children with bags over their heads are beating something with a stick. The unlucky girl was frightened and backed away from the gate. Oof. I mean, dot hack in uh, infection was like ten dollars or something. What was your name? <laughs> oh, synchronous. Okay, <laughs> damn it. You have to remind me that about ten times before I remember. <clears throat> Don't be laughing. Creepy laughing. This game's still dark as fuck. Did you see that? Peeking at me over the fence? HD collection. Well, what does later mean? I assume later means not the PS2 games that I want to play. No one allowed without a pass. I have a pass. I 
I have a boarding pass. I like seven. I just thought there was three. What's up, Ogreth? Okay, we can drop this right now. We can still read it if we want to, and it'll go to the rubbish bin. We don't need it in our inventory. Frick firm. What? Oh, we gotta go right, stand right here. Not in front of the door. Doing good, finish Doom Eternal. This is our next playthrough. Rule of Rose. Rear gate. Yes, Bash, indeed. Spooky game, Legend of Stray Dog. Stray Dog kidnaps kids. That's not good. Lots of trash piled up here. Large incinerator. I'm not sure if the kids are going to try to kill me. It might be monsters. I think that maybe the kids are just mean kids. I don't know if they're murderous kids. We'll find out. It's I It's what you'd call proper, but the camera switching makes it not proper. Um so yeah. I wish it was tank controls. It would be better. Since I have no camera control, I can do this. I can flip the camera back and forth. I would much prefer... I mean, I'd prefer this if I had camera control, but I don't. Stray Dog gives us treats. Oh, he didn't say tank controls or proper. He said tank controls proper. It's not tank controls, unfortunately. Empty case cages. All right. <clears throat> Front gate. Silent Hill 2 style? Silent Hill 2 didn't have tank controls? I played it like a week, a couple weeks ago or something. Very improper. Downhill 2 does. Well, you got the HD collection, Rio. That's not good. Those are bad ports. He got Restless Dreams on Xbox. Entrance this way. Nice. 
I only have it on PS2. The only Silent Hill I'm missing. I don't have Silent Hill 1 on PS1. I would like it. Now it's $300 for a super common game. I need Silent Hill 4 The Room on Xbox. PS2 version is still the best. A large portrait. Umbrellas. The unlucky girl felt the chilling gaze of many eyes upon her. Yet, she was all alone. <laughs> Creepy children! Rubbish bin. There we go. Already saving again. Beautiful. Give me all the fucking save points. I love saving the game. It's the best. 20 minutes. Yes, give me a save every 10 minutes. Perfect! Planet fun. Oh, I move. <sighs> Shut up, Moon Moon. Wait, there was UFC? No, I didn't watch it. I didn't work last night. I streamed instead. I finished Doom Eternal! Worst game ever. Fresh red roses. A grand fireplace. No one has touched it for a long time. Record player is broken. Fail. You can put in a keyword, by the way. It ser it'll search the quotes. My favorite streamer, Dying Came. Moon, 2017. It's 24 fucking years ago? Is that how long I've had to put up with Moon? Jesus fucking Christ. You do have your own verm. You do, actually. Try again. With a different word this time. You don't get your own unless you can figure out what it is, verm. Why isn't it working? <laughs> Hold on. God damn it. It is Verm. Oh, I only put two sixes. There's three sixes. All right, try now. Hello, Master Bismuth. It is the most expensive. It is the most expensive. 
Moon fucked you over there, Verm. You gotta try. You gotta try it again. <laughs> You'll get it one day. Wow. That's the worst sound effect I have, by the way. <clears throat> Doodles all over the portrait. Verm loves it. Because it's terrible. Back in the headmaster's room. We gotta look around in here. Wow. Record player, broadcasting equipment. Headmaster's closet. What's in here? Skeletons? Shoes, sheets, food. Various things. Hmm. Fin casting. Ooh. Something's written in the notebook. March 2nd, 1930. Recently, the children have been engaging in odd activities and spreading disturbing rumors. Rumors about creatures that come after children who don't clean up and stray dogs that kidnap small tots. It's all very bizarre. Small model of a mansion inside the tank, but no fish. Wow. Wow. The fuck is going on? I'm lost. This is back. It's back where I was before. Yeah, it's back where I was before. Dying clazes, dying clazes, dying clazes. <laughs> dying clazes. You can't do exclamation quote space moon or mowing. Could be mowing. Shut up, moon, moon. Exclamation quote. I mean, if you know any of the words in the quote, you can search by quote. Exclamation quote space the keyword. <laughs> Not that kind of moan. Moe in. <laughs> when is sex? Strong looking like an ass. <laughs> I guess there's no mowing quote.
We're gonna be lost in this mansion forever. Library! Shit in here. He'll live. It's only eighty five. It's not a hundred and five. Dormitory. Nothing. Fucking Norton. The game does have maps, but I don't have one yet. A hundred and thirteen, and you're starting to feel slightly annoyed. <laughs> Foul-smelling laundry baskets have been placed on the shelf. Filth room. This is where Moon lives. A creepy doll tied to the pillar. Oh, God! <laughs> Save the game. It's probably a zip code. It does everywhere, but it doesn't know your zip code. What's your city? Laptop's getting pretty hot, yeah. A faded group photo taken in front of the mansion. I see Pleb there on the left. Looks like Verm on the right. <laughs> Got him. I didn't save my game. Nothing else in here. As far as zip codes, probably, but if you tell it your city name, it will it will tell you. It does everywhere. But it probably defaults to, you know, U.S. is first. <clears throat> if 
48. Damn. I can't access... Oh, it's, it's bound by rope. I can't access rubbish bins yet because I don't have something to cut the rope. W-A as in Western Australia. Not W-A as in Washington. What's up, DG? Praise Satan. <laughs> this little fucker is running back and forth. I'm not chasing your stupid ass anymore. I got shit to do. This is back in the main hallway. Reception room. I've already been here. Been there. What about here? Praise Satan. Satan. <clears throat> I wish that would happen in this game. It's making me sleepy. All right, we're going back upstairs, we're going through the dormitory. Try to catch that little bastard's run around. I think I've been everywhere, actually. So hopefully something happens soon. He went back this way. The combat, which I will promptly run away from. <laughs> oh god, there he is. <laughs> Call the cops. Huh. I'm ready. On your ass, little bastard. Let me get you. I'm gonna do it in just a second. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. 
I got some water. But as soon as I drink the water, I have to go get some more. Scalpel, dental forceps, gloves, scissors, there's blood all over them. Blood. Orphanage map. There we fucking go. <laughs> Select for map. Dude, this map fucking sucks.
delayed audio, well, hopefully it's just you. Hopefully you find a fix for it. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright, this is where I came from. Oh, you found the quote. Is it welcome back, stupid lion ass moon moon? <laughs> I just do exclamation quote space lion without a G. <laughs> Rip. The quote numbers may have changed since then. One twenty six. I have this brightness all the way up, but it's still fucking dark as shit. Here we go. Look at this fucking screen. fuck is going on in this room? Hmm? When the unlucky girl approached the boy, he said, My, aren't you a slowpoke like always? Here, read me the rest of the story. There is no spoon. You know, the book I handed you. <laughs> Thank you, bad hombres. Jennifer, read the rest. read the rest of the story to me. Okay. I don't have the story. I put it in the rubbish bin. I can't get I can't get in the rubbish bin. Uh oh. I don't have the book. I thought it was a rubbish story. I threw it in the rubbish bin. I can't leave. Is the game soft locked now? Oh, maybe I can go under file and read it. There we go. Ah! I can't use this as an item, though. Okay, good. We will now begin the funeral. All those attending, please gather around at this time. The funeral is about to begin. Sir. Nobody's going to get that quote, right? Anybody? Funeral's about to begin. Sir. It's from a movie. <clears throat> Come on, Jennifer. The funeral's about to begin. Maybe somebody knows it. No? Y'all aren't cool enough. It's a funeral for your dear friend.
before she realized that the boy was gone. Trespass on. <laughs> That's the fucking easiest shit ever. <laughs> A funeral is about to begin. Is from Phantasm. And the girl was left in confusion. Ah! The boy was nowhere to be found. I hear dog. That doesn't sound like brown, though. It sounds like a small dog. I don't sound like a small dog. Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god Muffin dead When the girl went out to the yard, she found a shovel standing before a grave. The unlucky girl sensed that something very dear to her was buried here. As if possessed, she began to dig furiously. Yeah, I won't. I don't know if I'll watch UFC until Monday night. Maybe it might have to be Monday night. I could probably watch some while I work out tonight. Maybe I'm going to end the stream and go watch UFC. Fuck y'all. Just kidding. I got two more hours to stream. In like half an hour of UFC and then go to bed. Thank you, Ogreth. I really like doing them. I think they're funny. I need to do more. It's a lot of work, though. And I'm fucking... I'm so goddamn busy, it's ridiculous. Just look at you. You're filthy. You're filthy. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on our flight. Attention all passengers, we will be taking off in a short while. Please take all large luggage to section 8 of the freight storage oh, thank compartment. You. Thank you. It is today. Living the army married life. 
I don't know, my phone's not on. Maybe I should turn it on. I don't give a shit about holidays, dude, at all. Well, they messaged me. I do have a son. He's married in the army. The unlucky Cloverfield. He's Moon Camel's second son. No. <laughs> Mugrit? <laughs> Mug Mugrit? Quite a name. <laughs> You'd dame your son, Mugrit, wouldn't you? I bet you would. When the girl awoke, she found herself in a strange room. can't have kid can't adopt a little mugret <laughs> it was a cold lonely stinky room struggle struggle Good morning, ropes. Jennifer. Shut up. How do you feel? Let's have a little chat, shall we? Fine. Hmm. Good girl. Hi, Anna. Jennifer, you know you've been a bad, bad girl. And bad girls need to be punished, don't they? No. Hmm. A bad, bad girl.
Wow, okay. <laughs> Joffrey, yeah, Prince Joffrey. And so, the rope was cut, snip snip, and the girl jo joined the aristocrat club. Congratulations! Thanks. Give me them scissors. Just out of reach. The blackboard is badly smudged and unreadable. The girl examined the headless scarecrow. It pleaded, Last, please help me find my head. Once I am whole again, I'll return the favor. I can't save until I find his head. Take your meds. There's a rat. Maybe, Gamari, maybe. At least threatening children. As the girl looked at the rubbish bin, it spoke to her. My belly is as dark as night and as deep as the abyss. Anything in the world that is dropped will be collected inside it. Huh. Let's check the bin. All we got is a little prince's story and an old photo. And the girl examined the bucket. It bleated. Last, please put me back on top of my body. Will do. Back on top of the headless scarecrow behind you. If you do, I'll help you in return. Jennifer found a bucket. <clears throat> As the girl placed the bucket in its proper place, it spoke. I am the Bucket Knight, keeper of promises. Yet time can be so cruel, for I have aged and cannot remember the past. Hi, Vaults. Yep. You know what I refer to, and I know that you know. However, you do not know at the moment, nor can you remember. Let us recall our memories together in order to remember our promise. When you aren't sure how to proceed, talk to the Bucket Knight and select Ask for Clues in order to receive a hint about what to do next. Yeah, it wouldn't let me uh, do anything with the bucket. It picked it up and she automatically put it on his head. The order you've been given is the reason you are you. May be unpleasant, yet you have no choice but to follow it. A tribute to the aristocrat club. That's your only clue. Hmm. Tribute. Second set is covered in animal hair. Wait, what did that say? Big wooden box covered with dirt and grass. You could use the chair. It's literally a chair right there. Use the dog collar? No. A 
Still a filthy rat over there. Sector eight cargo bay? Is that an eight or three? Lays all waste paper in the rubbish bin. Take laundry to the filth room, headmaster. I can't click on that, really? It's like something. <clears throat> Creepy children. Don't let me go that way right now, anyway. Locked. Invited to the Aristocrat Club. Red Crayon Aristocrats. That way. Oh, I don't want to go in there yet. Yes, this is a PS2 horror game. Super expensive game. I don't own it, but I am borrowing it. It's all on the up and up. Alright, now I'm going in there. An aristocrat's society. First class guest sector. Social rank, refined class. Duchess Diana. Countess Eleanor. Baroness Meg. Lower class. Poor Amanda. Je beggar Jennifer. Damn it. Why well, I gotta be on the bottom? I gotta be underneath Amanda. Jesus. Amanda, a.k.a. Pleb. Looking through the window, the unlucky girl saw that she was above the clouds. The airship slowly swam through the sky, carrying the helpless girl inside. <clears throat> I 
Wow. Red Crayon Royalty. Red Rose Princess. Bear Prince. Those are at the top. The Red Rose Princess and the Bear Prince. Then the Duchess, Countess, Baroness, and the Burgess. Is that how you say that? Poor and beggar. The rule of gifts. Find a gift of the month. All members must participate. Tardin is stealing and cheating are prohibited. Junks, junk toys, and more. No refunds, only exchange. Red crayon aristocrat. B bourgeoisie. Right. Ah. Ah. Mm -hmm. All right. The girl has found a strange door, but where does it lead? Check the box. A strange box is attached to the door. Things can be placed inside it. So I'm gonna turn the brightness back down. It was really dark in the town and or the mansion. It's not so dark here on the airship. <clears throat> this month's gift. A beautiful butterfly. One per person. Ooh. I don't have a butterfly. In the storage sector corridors. Hmm. As the unlucky girl stood helplessly, the door spoke. Give me a beautiful butterfly, one per person. Is that clear? No gift, no entry. Is that clear? Give me a butterfly. Give me a butterfly. Find one, and you shall be invited to join the aristocrat club. Yeah, but I don't want to be a beggar. It's putting me above pleb. This is PS2. The unlucky girl met Hoffman, the strict teacher. When Hoffman caught Jennifer looking at him, he snapped at her. Oh, it's a dude. Dirty wretch. 
Why are you always shirking your duties? Dirty wretch. Wow. The unlucky girl met Clara, the frightened princess. As the princess looked down, she spoke to the girl with a feeble voice. How dirty? Why do they think I'm dirty? You're dirty. Dirty, dirty. Large flying fish. Cute picture of children playing happily together. And a rabbit. Get the impression that it means a lot to its owner. Dirty. Dirty as in poor. First class guest sector. All right. That's how I run, by the way. Just like that. Dressing room. You dirty pig boy. <laughs> Have sex with Chad Amazon. Cena is a man. Poor helpless unlucky girl, tell me your tale. Butterflies, the one you wish to follow. Green butterfly. <clears throat> it was a green one. Then join the aristocrats. Damn creepy children. <clears throat> There's your haiku.
Haiku 50. Damn, that's a lot. It's a lot of haikus. Did I go in that other door? Could I go in that other door? Hi, Costin. I beat Doom Eternal. I beated it. Don't play Doom Eternal. Haha, <laughs> that's right. Never have to again. Oh, there's not a door here. There's the social rank. Get out of there. Ah! I'm the beggar, Jennifer. One day I'll be one of you. Oh yeah, that one I couldn't go in. That's right. Okay. A book of haikus. Huh. Nobody buy that shit. But they should. You can. Why can't you? That bitch better not get that butterfly for me. I will fuck you up. Come here. That's my butterfly. I'm on PS4. The fuck is that? Port Livestock Room. Stinky Piggy. Names are written on the cage. Mary and Shelly. Sally. Two little goats are shivering inside. goats animal feed rotting away the unlucky girl met Wendy the lonely princess the princess saw that the girl was confused so she smiled gently and said <coughs> you're the new girl aren't you <coughs> I'm Wendy it's nice to meet you <coughs> she feels unwell when she's lonely are you sad when you're alone? No one wants to be alone. Are you looking for a butterfly? I saw one flying around on the first floor. Mm -hmm. She feels unwell when she's lonely. Are you sad when you're alone? Oh no, not the COVID. Prego Gito, yep. Dark and spooky.
Sector 10 crew cap. Hello. Electric panel. Speaking tube, nothing can be heard. The unlucky girl met Diana, the strong-willed princess. This is the boss. As she gathered her courage to speak to the princess, the princess cursed. She's such a pain. <sighs> yeah, that's a no one. She really annoys me. <sighs> Just terrible. Hi, Drago. What? She really annoys me. Just terrible. She really annoys me. Sector 11 maintenance. Your dad gets to go golfing for Father's Day. Nice. Only this wall seems to be made of cloth. I don't have any scissors. Also, don't have a map right now. But it's Sector 11 maintenance. I'm gonna have to play this game every day so I don't forget stuff. And fine with me. I really want to uh, play games continuously and finish them rather than have a whole bunch going at once. You know, one main playthrough and a few. Uh, few little variety games if I'm bored how can I stream with a bad ear well no one will know that you have a bad ear the unlucky girl met Thomas the mischievous prince do you have a bad ear here's what you do you get earbuds and you put one in the good ear the prince, who'd been busy with his antics, finally stopped and spoke to the girl. A new girl. A new girl. You're filthy. What's she like? <laughs> oh, that's nice, Drago. What's she like? Ooh, really infection. Scrawny. Yikes. <laughs> What's she like? Really scrawny. <laughs> Whoa. She won't talk to me. Oh, there we go. The unlucky girl met Martha, the queen of cleaning. Queen glared at Jennifer as if she were filthier than the dirt itself. Filthy wretch. Is there anything else to think, T-Mac? I haven't seen the UFC from last night, by the way. Don't talk about that one. The 
Illusion of a strange man in the reflection. That's creepy. Yeah, don't talk about any USDs because Gogito hasn't seen them. Why don't you get the fuck out of the way, Martha? This, this game is a maze. Well, don't tell me. I got some bets with Moon. Copper leaf. That's a key. Part of a key. One leaf clover. We're crying. Four leaf clover. Locked. The unlucky girl met Olivia, the tearful princess. As the princess cried on, the girl gathered her courage and spoke to her. The tearful princess just cried on and on. Did you kill the butterfly? The green butterfly is on the ground. Bitch. You deserve to be cobbled up. Rude. Oh, yeah, was it good? <laughs> That's an equipable item. A dessert fork. It's a dead green butterfly. Its wings are tattered and mostly fallen off. It still works, right? Still a fucking butterfly. So we now have a weapon. A mighty weapon. <laughs> Stick it right in your eyeball. Two leaf clover. And three leaf clover. Field is upstairs. Hello, Goofy. Fuck you. I don't even have a map for this place, which is ridiculous. I think I can retrace my steps though. This is not where I want to go. Here's what's her name. She really annoys me. Diana. Diana? I don't know. This isn't. Okay. <laughs> There's you a gif on the bastard. screen. Elgrith donated fifty dollars. Thank you, Elgrith. And says camel must see. Dude, it's so nice. Thank you so much. It's pretty scary. I really appreciate it. Eight, six, ten, sixteen. <clears throat> I have an appointment on July 7th. They will be looking in my eyes again and seeing if I'm ready. Uh, if my eyes are ready to do it. 
But I don't think I get it. I don't think I would get the surgery until like very late July, early August. Thank you, Ogrith. Please don't what? What am I not supposed to do? I also need to put Rio Dragoon on this list. I have a list below the stream of everyone who's donated for this. Don't 16, okay. It's like, what, don't get my eyes fixed? But, but, but. 16! I'm gonna go blind. We've got everybody else on there. Yes. <sighs> but still, it's like at least another month with these blurry ass contacts. It sucks. But I'll survive. Are we talking about like Julio Cesar Chavez Jr.? Is that what we're talking about? Have I been in the smoking room? Yeah, okay. I'm tracing my steps back this way. Choo choo! I gotta go back to the aristocrats club. Sector 11 maintenance. Damn it, this is just gonna go back to... Um, this should be locked, I believe. Yeah, okay, here we go. Thank you, Ogrith. It'll, you know... It'll get taken care of eventually. As long as it gets taken care of, you know. Can I fork this wall? I probably need the scissors. Huh. That's what I thought. It just leads us back to the Sector 10 crew cabin where where Diana is. All right, Diana's right here. Maybe this way. Yeah, this way. Yes, turbine. I don't know who them people are. The fuck is that? Teddy bear? A living teddy bear? What the fuck? A rat? A dog. The dog was all alone, tied up and hung from the ceiling. That's pretty fucked up. But no means to get the rope and free him, the unlucky girl could only stand and watch the poor creature struggle. Jesus. Thank you, Captain. Have a good one. Airship map. It was right there all along. It's a map with doodles all over it. Dude, I can't read that. Whatever. Trump and Alex Jones. <laughs> Okay, at least it tells me where... Okay, this map is way better than the mansion one.
Except where's the aristocrats? It has to be... I mean, I came from... Floor. Dressing room, VIP. There's a library, lounge. Is that where I need to go to? Okay, I remember the sector numbers. 10, 11 was where I came from. So I came from over this side. So I'm going this way. To the upper deck. Yeah, salon. Salon is where it was. Because I couldn't go into the salon. There, there it is. The lounge right there. Sector 13, lift. Oh, there's like stairs right here. Anyway, it's still confusing, but it's nearby. The map is helpful, but I'm not, I can't rely on it, you know. I gotta just wander around till I get the lay of the land in my brain. <clears throat> Two hour nap in the middle of the day, damn. I never ever nap. He was the ref, T Mac, is what he was saying. By the library. See, here's the here's the sign. This way. Somebody crying. I'm not forking him. A child reading aloud could be heard faintly. The unlucky girl listened. she wanted was to be happy.
Tito Ortiz would be an awesome she ref. Was too unlucky. Once upon a time, there was an unlucky girl. Unlucky girl. All she wanted, all she wanted was to be. One second. She dropped it on the road. She found a two-way folder, but it but it slipped into the shed shadows. Shadows. She found a three-way folder, but a witch. Yep, sounds like some Scottish she accent. Shall offer the butterfly. The gift box door said to the unlucky girl, You call this a beautiful butterfly? Are you blind? Give me a beautiful, beautiful butterfly, and then you shall be invited to join the aristocrat club. God damn it, really? <clears throat> It's not beautiful enough for you. <laughs> they drop a key. One leaf key. Now we gotta go back to the clover field. Wait. Can we combine the broken leaf with the other clover? Maybe not. Nice. In front of the unlucky girl stood a man in a brown coat that she had never seen before. The man quietly handed her a storybook. The Clover Feed. Once upon a time, there was an unlucky girl. All she wanted was to be happy, so she went to a clover field. She found a one-leaf clover, but she dropped it on the road. She found a two-leaf clover, but it slipped into the shadows. She found a three-leaf clover, but a witch hid it away. 
She wanted to find a four-leaf clover, but she was too un unlucky. <laughs> the clover field. Can I go in the salon now? I don't think the doors that are like that will ever be opened. It's just the children hiding in them doors that I can't go through. I can go in that library now and kids are gone, right? First class guest sector. It's easy to remember where the fucking aristocrats place is, cause that you know that. That's a staircase right there. You can barely see it. Okay. Library. What's <clears throat> up, placements? in this dark ass library yes you have the best cat emotes on twitch which basically means the best emotes on twitch oi there's anything else in here hmm. hello Knox. you don't have him in discord anymore why not I can go back and see uh, these people in here in sick bay. They were linked to the old server. I guess I gotta link them again. Dirty wretch. Do you call me dirty? That's true. I've never played Half Life One on stream. Fork him! <laughs> I mean, I did play it for an hour during the marathon, but this is a game... This is the most expensive PS2 game. A friend sent it to me. I'm borrowing it to play it. About 800. You know. On the low end. PS2. Yes, there is a Half-Life 1 on PS2. I'm glad this isn't my copy, though, because I'd just sell it. <laughs> but I'd want to keep it because it's cool. No, this is an actual, like, unique, pretty fucking good so far. Cutscenes are incredible. There's also the fact that this company only made two games. This and Chulip. Chulip's about a $300 game. I'm just wandering. 
You're buying a whole Neo Geo arcade cabinet for that price? Damn. Capcom? No. <laughs> so they made two games, not just two good games. Yeah, that's the one I was planning on playing was Black Mesa. Allegedly better. There's no way it's better, but, you know. Better graphics. Tulip is definitely not survival horror. I think Tulip is a game where you kiss people. It's weird Japan. Isn't it a kissing game, Zordon? Weird fun. And so now we gotta go back to the clover door. I would really like to find to remember where a save point is, though. I don't think the map shows me. Have like one on PS2 has quick save. Whoa. Oh, I think there might be one right here. Fuck. Might be one right here. Sector 8 cargo bay right below the, the stairs up to the aristocrats. Is that right? Kithen game, yeah. No. Okay. I do need to go back through here. The enemy seems to be gone. Cholula, huh? Finding true love by kissing everyone. I mean, that's been my strategy so far in life. Okay, that old enemy dude's gone. That's good. He was creepy. But I have a fork. Huh! Huh! Now kiss. <laughs> Yes. Kith. Broadcast equipment. Oh. The kissing terror. Oh, that's where I was tied up. She was watching me. Rio's def is totally a kiss boy. Is that a button? Push the button. That lowers the. That lowers the scissors. Not meeting game on TwitchCon now. <laughs> does it stay or does it go back up? Looks like it stays. Good. I need to find my way back over there. Okay, just take a right and then another right, I think. This is it. Scissors! Filth room! Some players there are now coaches? Damn. Maybe I can cut through that one wall. As the unlucky girl examined the scissors, they suddenly spoke. No thanks necessary. No thanks necessary. You might have been better off being bound than being free to feel pain. 
So scary. The scissors that cut the rope, they're rather rusty. Rusty scissors. Well, there were cl cleaning supplies over there, right? And here we have our rubbish bin. How do I go over there? We can stock the orphanage map. Cloverfield story time. Keep everything else for now. And then save at the bucket night. Ask for clues. The green butterfly you offered was too filthy and was rejected. Your beloved friend is tied up and hanging by a rope. Cut the rope and remember, remember the name of your friend. Remember your bond with him. That's your only clue. Can I do it with rusty scissors? Save successful. <clears throat> I think this is where we're going to stop today. <sighs> Tomorrow will be an even longer stream. We'll definitely start with some Colin McRae rally. And then we'll play a lot of Rule of Rose. And then maybe we'll have time for some Riding Three. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be in bed in an hour, and this is a perfect spot to stop. Right after the game giveaway. <clears throat> if you want to win free game, all you have to do is type "gimme." This here is the list of games. Keyword for the raffle is gimme.